Hi, this is Kirk, the Bariatric Carnivore. Let's talk a little bit about the hardest drug I ever had to give up. And it wasn't alcohol or tobacco. You know, I, thankfully I was never a heroin addict or a cocaine addict. No, the hardest drug I had to give up was PPIs, proton pump inhibitors. You know, things like Nexium, stuff like that. They were acid reducers that you take on a regular, you, know, you take it once a day and hopefully it will block the acid production in your stomach. And about 15 years ago, I went, I suddenly was eating a, uh, a sandwich and the food was just not getting down. It was just painful to eat. And you know, that caused me a lot of concern. So I went to go see a gastro guy who said, oh, okay, the, the sphincter right above your stomach is a little bit tight. Um, and that can be a problem. So, you know, but you know, when he, so what he did was he took a scope me, put me under you know little local, um, s small amount of surgery, and they stretched out the sphincter muscle uh, at the bottom of my stomach. But he said, "Hey, look, you, you've got signs of GERD. Acid is bouncing back up there, and that can create problems. And it can. I mean, it can create you know there's esophageal cancers that can come from GERD, etc. So he said, you know, he strongly suggested that I go ahead and take a PPI." every day well i'm being a good patient and not one to ever question a doctor at that particular time in my life i started taking the ppi every day the problem is these things were only designed to be taken for you know the only test they did was on them for a few weeks and they were only approved for over-the-counter use for a few weeks and here i was taking it for years Matter of fact, there's, if you Google it in PPIs, et cetera, you know, there's a lot of concern that you know, there are people like me who've been taking it for multiple years and they, there's lots of warnings out there for taking it more than a year, how much damage you can do to yourself because of nutrient deficiencies, particularly minerals like uh, magnesium and calcium just can't get absorbed unless you've got enough stomach acid. Stomach acid's good. Stomach acid protects you from all sorts of bacteria and it's the first step in digestion. It's what helps break down proteins. It's what gives you, breaks out uh, nutrients and minerals out of the food so that it can be absorbed by the body. And when you're taking PPIs, you're keeping that stuff from being absorbed. Now, why do I say it's the hardest drug that I ever had to give up? Well, because it was one that you just can't quit cold turkey. Uh, it was actually a very painful process. And the way I did it was I started switching to it every other day. And instead of taking it every day, I took it every other day. And I did that for two weeks. And that was kind of miserable because, you know, you're, when you're not blocking all that stomach acid, it starts to come in there and it starts to create a little bit of heartburn. And it starts, and that's painful. I mean, you know, I've had bad GERD. What was, uh, you know, and then I went uh, every three days. And then I went to once a week and finally was finally off of it. And, you know, and the GERD for initially was very painful. There's not much you can do about it. You know, you can't really, while you're, you, you just have to suffer through it. That was the only way I could get it done. And I wish I could say that it was, you know, I, easy peasy process, but it was a slow withdrawal and it was kind of painful. I'm glad I'm over it now. But it does bring up another point and that is one of the stupid things about current allopathic medicine and how doctors are not serving you and preserving your health. Here I was presenting in this guy's office with stomach pains and I've got GERD, etc. And he never asked me a single lifestyle question. This is over 15 years ago. At that time, I smoked, I drank, I ate an all-American diet, and I'm overweight. These are all things that contribute to GERD. He never made a suggestion like, you know, something simple like, hey, why don't you raise the head of your bed up just by an inch or so so that the liquid kind of moves downhill. Now, these are all changes that I've made in my life over the last 10 years. Um, I quit smoking about 12 years ago, finally. You know, I quit chewing tobacco. I you know, vaped for a while, but finally gave that up. And every change that I've made that's been positive 
made my stomach better. But getting rid of those PPIs was a bear. And it, frankly, I'd made most of the changes before I gave up the PPIs and it was still painful. So what can I tell you? Look up, if you don't believe me, please look up the long-term effects of taking PPIs, proton pump inhibitors, drugs like Nexium, um, those, that, those type of drugs, and look at the long-term effects that come from taking them and realize that it's worth suffering through the pains of the withdrawals just to get off of them. Your health will improve. Um, there's a lot of damage that can happen to your muscle tissues, to your nerves, um, to your skin. Uh, I mean, magnesium deficiencies and calcium deficiencies rob your bones of vital nutrients. So it's not something to be trifled with. You know, a little bit of heartburn for a short time to get off of them will do you a world of good. So this was the toughest drug that I ever had to get rid of. I will talk about getting rid of other drugs as I go along in this journey and I explain what's happened in the last 10 years. Till then, I'm Kirk, the Bariatric Carnivore. If you like this channel, if you like this message, if you like regaining your health freedom, then please subscribe, hit a like. It helps a lot, you know, it helps YouTube realize that other people might like this message too. So you're helping out other people that might be able to benefit from this type of message when you hit like and subscribe. <laughs> and I appreciate it. Um, and it helps encourage me to keep doing more and more content. I try to put out a video every day. Until tomorrow, this is Kirk, the Bariatric Carnivore, and we'll talk to you soon.